This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at esters. Esters, which contain the ester functional group, are derivatives of carboxylic acids. They are formed in the reaction between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Here we have the general word equation for the formation of an ester. So in the reaction, a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to form an ester plus water. This is known as a nucleophilic substitution reaction. It is also called a condensation reaction or an esterification reaction. The catalyst used in the reaction is usually concentrated sulfuric acid. So next we look at this reaction in more detail. Starting with the reactants, we have a carboxylic acid with a carboxyl functional group and an alcohol with a hydroxyl functional group. The reaction occurs in the presence of a strong acid catalyst. The products are an ester and a molecule of water. In the reaction, the OH from the carboxyl group combines with the hydrogen from the hydroxyl group to form a molecule of water. We also have the formation of an ester bond in the ester molecule. It's also worth noting that this is a reversible reaction. An excess of alcohol is used in the reaction to shift the equilibrium position to the right. The reverse reaction can also take place, which is known as hydrolysis. So next, we look at a specific example. In this reaction, we have a carboxylic acid, which is ethanoic acid, reacting with an alcohol, which is ethanol. The products of the reaction are an ester, which is called ethyl ethanoate, and a molecule of water. The equation for the reaction is shown below. When we write the condensed structural formula for an ester, we usually have the carboxylic acid part first, followed by the alcohol part. As we saw previously, an ester is made up of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So when naming esters, one part of the molecule is named after the carboxylic acid. The other part of the molecule is named after the alcohol. To name the carboxylic acid part of the molecule, we need to count the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain, starting from the carbon atom that has a double bond to the oxygen atom. So if we look at this example, we can see there are two carbon atoms in the longest chain. To name the alcohol part of the molecule, we need to count the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain, starting from the oxygen atom that has a single bond to the carbon atom. So in this example, there are two carbon atoms in the longest chain. So this ester was produced from a two carbon alcohol, which was ethanol, and a two carbon carboxylic acid, which was ethanoic acid. Using this table, we can see that if there are two carbon atoms in the alcohol, the name changes to ethyl, and the name of the carboxylic acid changes to ethanoate. The alcohol part comes first, therefore this ester is named ethyl ethanoate. In our next example, we can see that the alcohol part of this ester has three carbon atoms in the longest chain. The carboxylic acid part of the ester also has three carbon atoms in the longest chain. If we look in the table, the alcohol name changes to propyl and the carboxylic acid name changes to propanoate. So the name of this ester is propyl propanoate. In the last example, using full structural formulas, we can see the alcohol part of the ester has four carbon atoms in its longest chain, and the carboxylic acid part of the ester has two carbon atoms in its longest chain. So the alcohol name changes to butyl, and the carboxylic acid name changes to ethanoate. So the name of this ester is butyl ethanoate. In the next examples, we'll be predicting the names of the esters formed in the reactions. So in our first example, we have a one carbon carboxylic acid, which is methanoic acid, reacting with a two carbon alcohol, which is ethanol. So here we can see the condensed structural formula of the ester formed. The name of the ester is ethyl methanoate. Next, we have a two carbon carboxylic acid reacting with a one carbon alcohol. So here we have the condensed structural formula for the ester, which is named methyl ethanoate. Next, we have the reaction between a two carbon carboxylic acid and a four carbon alcohol. Here we can see the condensed structural formula for the ester, which is named butyl ethanoate. 
And finally we have the reaction between a 3 carbon carboxylic acid and a 3 carbon alcohol. Here we have the condensed structural formula for the ester which is named propyl propanoate. To end the video we'll look at the physical properties of esters. So starting with boiling point, in this table we can see the relationship between the molar mass of an ester and its boiling point. Starting at the top of the table we can see that methyl ethanoate has a boiling point of approximately 57 degrees C. As we go down the table both molar mass and boiling point increase. At the bottom of the table we have pentyl ethanoate with a boiling point of 149 degrees C. The trend in boiling point that we see in this table is because of the increasing molar mass. As the molar mass increases the strength of the London dispersion forces between the molecules increases which means that the boiling point also increases. It's worth noting that in terms of solubility esters get less soluble as the molar mass increases. This is because of the increasing length of the hydrophobic hydrocarbon chains. We'll end the video by looking at the uses of esters. Esters are used as artificial food flavorings, solvents and plasticizers. As we can see from this table, esters often have fruity flavors or fragrances. Therefore they are used as artificial food flavorings or in air fresheners.